So right now, um, you'll probably, some of you might be experiencing ants in the home. This is the season when ants do come in. Um, and ants outside, they are not really uh, a, a nuisance. Um, they, are, can, they can be good, they're decomposers, they aerate the soil, um, and they can eat insect pests. Uh, one thing to note, they do farm uh, the sticky sweet honeydew that aphids and other pests produce. Uh, so they'll protect aphids against beneficials like ladybugs, because um, ladybugs eat aphids, so uh, ants will protect the aphids or fight off the ladybugs. Um, on the other hand, so that's one, that's a downside to ants, um, but on the other hand, uh, you can, ants can be an indicator of a larger pest problem. So if you see like a trail of ants going up the tree, uh, that's probably a sign that you have some other pest in the tree. Um, and then you can deal with that pest and the ants will go away. So looking at ants, so, um, ant solutions from a IPM perspective. So first we're gonna go for prevention. We're gonna clean crumbs and water. Um, this is in the home. Uh, most of this is about uh, ants in the home because that's where they cause the most um, problems. Um, so we're gonna clean up crumbs and water. They come in for water as well, not just food. We're gonna seal up food or put it in the refrigerator um, and we're gonna seal any cracks or add weather stripping to our uh, doors and windows. We're gonna identify and monitor if we do see ants, uh, monitor is it getting worse or is it just one or two. Um, if we decide we need to take action, we can just take a soapy sponge, wipe up any scout ants that come out looking for food, um, and wipe up their scent trails that they leave. Um, we wanna find their point of entry and block it off with caulk or weather stripping, or uh, if it's temporary, you can use just a little bit of uh, petroleum jelly on um, whatever uh, holes they might be coming in. They also, you also wanna find out what are they coming in for? Are they coming in for food? Um, if they're coming in and eating your pet's food, uh, say your pet doesn't eat all their food um, at once and there's food on the floor all day, um, you want to, you, what you can do is take your pet's food bowl, put it in a wider bowl uh, that has a wider shallow bowl that has some soapy water in it. It creates a bit of a, mo a moat uh, and the ants can't uh, get in. To the, to the food. Uh, if we decide that we want to go for a chemical uh, control, I would say uh, ant baits are highly effective, um, but like I said, uh, they do take a little bit longer than say a spray, but uh, ant baits, uh, they're more effective because they kill the whole colony. Um, ants will come out, find the bait, take the bait, and then bring it back to the colony, which will then kill the whole colony. Uh, whereas a spray kills on contact, it only kills the ants that you're, that you're looking at. Um, Orange Guard is a spray uh, kill on contact. It can also be a repellent though. So if you see ants are coming in through a doorway, you can spray Orange Guard on your door jam and that'll repel ants for about a week. Um, we want to, when we are working with ant bait stations, we want to look for stations that use uh, boric acid and sugar bait mix. Um, that is the least toxic. Um, and then another option is uh, food grade diatomaceous earth. Um, we want to make sure it's food grade. Um, diatomaceous earth is a very fine powder and um, it can cause the ants to like. Uh, desiccate to dry up. <laughs> so uh, what we want to do, if we do want to use that, we want to um, put a very small amount um, in cracks or right where they enter. Um, and then keep in mind that uh, diatomaceous earth, uh, while it's food grade and it's not uh, necessarily poisonous, it, can't, it is a fine powder. So you want to make sure that no ants or children have access to it. It can be a long irritant. Also uh, with ant baits, uh, when we are using the ant bait stations, we want to make sure that no pests, uh, no pets, and no children can access them um, because they are, even though they're less toxic, they are pesticide. We don't want anyone chewing on the stations. Um, outdoor, if you do have them, uh, 
like I said, you can manage the aphid problem that you might be having. Uh, you can also, there are outdoor ant bait stations, also making sure that no pets, uh, pets or children have access to them. And then um, you can use a, uh, you can use this insect sticky glue um, that you can wrap a piece of paper around a tree if you have ants crawling up your tree and then put some insect glue around the, uh, around the paper and then the ants will get stuck as they uh, crawl up. And then of course, our fifth step of the IPM process is to monitor. Um, if if uh, it's not, the problem's not going away, we wanna maybe try a different uh, solution.